legends are true. But overwhelming power! The sauce of destiny. Yes! The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of McDonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10 piece with nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Go! And participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage. All the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. Oh my goodness. Ah, stretch, stretch, stretch. Welcome to Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Cozy Womb Dailies. Monday through Friday, it's me, Shan, Mom of the Girls, where I talk to you about one topic for about five minutes while you get these kids ready. Let's go. Good morning. It is Wednesday and I want to talk about finding peace because peace is everything. Okay. The older you get, you think it's things, you think it's money, you think it's cars, you think it's men, you think it's women, but it's not. For your kids right now, they think their toys is their life. Their iPad is their life. If you give your child a cell phone, mm, they think that cell phone is their life and it's not. There's so much things to see outside. There's so many changes that are happening. I'm looking at my yard right now and there's leaves all over the floor. The trees are different colors. I, I, I drive around and I appreciate what I can see, what I can feel, what I can experience. And you have to point that out with your kids or else they're going to be ungrateful. Okay? We all have to learn to be okay with what we have. More comes with more issues. Your creator is not going to give you more if you can't handle what you have. Okay? Think about what you prayed for and how far you've come from where you were at. A lot of people have this um, this selfish way of looking at what I need now and I need this now and I don't have this now. So, no, it's not great. But it is great. Because three years ago, I didn't have this house. Three years ago, I didn't have this space. Three years ago, I didn't have, you know, extra funds and different accounts. Three years ago, I didn't have the experiences I have now. Three years ago, I couldn't have choices for what I have choices for now. Three years ago, I didn't have a space for my kids to enjoy that I have now. So yes, I am grateful for not being in that condo. Yes, I am grateful for not being in that old same neighborhood with the same issues and the same people not evolving yes I am happy that you know my mom is healthier now compared to where she were before we have to learn to be grateful and the more that we are grateful the more that our kids will be grateful when you see people with what you want make small goals for yourself but don't knock where you're at that's disrespectful That's disrespectful to the old you that wanted to be where you are. Okay? And if you're leveling up and it's getting better and better and better, what are you afraid of? If you're leveling up and you're having more options than you did three years ago, what are you scared of? We always have to sit and and look at what we have and look at where we were And ask ourselves, what are the lessons that I've gotten? And what are the lessons that I'm not getting? 
And how can I make my growth faster in time instead of two years apart, three years apart, five years apart, ten years apart? How can I grow my income with the knowledge that I've obtained up till now? What can I do for someone else that they need that can bring me income? How can I market myself? How can I let people know that I'm doing this, that I can do this, that I have this, that I can give their business these skills? Who am I? What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. Not reaching out to. Who am I not talking to? Do I have a uh, a rapport with my child's teacher? Do they understand who my child is personality-wise? Are we on the same team of helping them achieve their goals in class? There's always something for us to be doing, something for us to be improving, and we have to pay attention to that. And when we improve, our kids want to improve. When we do better, our kids want to do better. If I sat in my house and I never cleaned my house and I didn't take half of my Sunday to mop the floors, sweep the floors, clean the windows, clean the sink, clean the bathroom, uh, do laundry, get their uniforms ready for the week, change the bedding. If I didn't do that, you think my kids will grow up and say, you know what, I need to change my bedding. I need to do this. I need to do that. Easily without going to therapy and say, you know what, my mom was a pig. I grew up with a pig and I feel like compared to all of my friends and the people I'm with, they, they said it's not correct. And I got to go through this process of unlearning. I don't want my kids to go through a process of unlearning horrible habits because of what I've done. So if you're not going to be better for you, be better for your children because they're around you and legally they have to be around you unless told otherwise by your government. So if your child has a horrible mouth, then maybe you should check yourself, their other parent, who they're around, what they're watching, what they're listening to. If your child doesn't know something they need to know, maybe you should check yourself on why you haven't taken the time to make sure they know these things. If your child is six years old and still putting on their shoes on the wrong foot, maybe you should check yourself. Maybe y'all should take 20 minutes out of every day to put on shoes, tie shoes, button up their shirt, show them how to zip up their jacket, show them how to put on their gloves, show them how to close their backpack, show them how to clean the bathroom, show them how to properly flush a toilet before they brush their teeth, show them how to turn off the water, Show them how to properly lock a door. Show them how to fold a towel. If you haven't showed your child all of those things, you have work to do. Have a great day. Hey y'all, quick note. I wanted to invite you to follow me on Good Pods. If you haven't heard of it yet, it's like Goodreads or Instagram for podcasts. It's new, it's social, it's different, and it's growing really fast. I post it a lot of times on Instagram and on my Twitter. On Good Pods, we can follow each other to see what we're all listening to. And like other podcast players, you can search for the shows and play them right on the app and web for free. And you could talk to the people who are listening to podcasts and other podcasters. And that's the best part, in my opinion. Great way to grow your podcast. Good Pods, 
is there with a comment section next to every episode. So there's no reason why people don't know what you're doing. I'm excited to hear your feedback and questions and what you liked about each episode. You can find me on Good Pods on the web or goodpods.com. Or you can just download the app on your Android or your iPhone. You can use the link in my show notes. My username is Shambi Podden. Follow me and I'll follow you back.